We see that Disney stock has achieved a meteoric return of about 3.46% in the past five years. Absolutely embarrassing. And so that gives them even more credence to be a little bit upset. Still, it didn't end up working out. Basically, Pelt was looking for a board seat, the contested board seat that he was going for. The person that held it before got 63% of the vote. So she was able to hold on to that seat. Bobby I got 94% of the vote to remain in the CEO chair. And overall, 75% of retail investors just agreed with what the company had recommended. What Pelt was looking to do was effectively make Disney Plus a lot more like Netflix in terms of pumping out mid-ass content that, you know, a lot of people around the country will watch for a week, freak out about and talk about around the water cooler. Uh, they're definitely not doing that. They also wanted to revamp the company's creative unit to start actually pumping out some new content instead of just, you know, changing the uh, changing certain aspects about the main characters in movies and calling it a new release. 